Yo solo quiero que tú seas feliz. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another day in the life. I am so excited for today. Um, this is gonna be a pretty typical work day for me, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm gonna do a quick workout first. It's about 9 a.m. I didn't get up the earliest this morning, and honestly, I haven't been getting up very early lately because I've been staying up so late. But um, anyway, gonna work out and then start the day. This is our little workout section, so we're about to get a quick workout in. I probably won't work out as long as Cameron because he's an overachiever. So what we doing today? Don't you ever try to take too long. What's the moment going you know it's a gone? Hold up. We all life, we all life. It's all right, it's all right. Ain't no thing, ain't no thing. Don't you worry about tonight. We sing it. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, nah. You should live your life. Oh, nah, 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 yeah, nah. Y'all, nah. that workout was really good. It was quick. It's a time to work out, so... Um, you like go along with the app, which is what I really like. Anyway, I'm sweating quite a bit. I'm gonna go shower. I'm all dressed and not quite ready to start the day, but I'm starting the day. I have a call with my mentee, Impress, and I'm gonna get on a quick Zoom call with her, and then I'm gonna finish getting ready because I have to record today. <laughs> hey girl! How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Alright, so, so a little later in the day, I'm just looking through the eBrand Club. I have to, um, Record a couple videos for the club. Let me write that down. And what else do I need to do today? Gotta do some video edits for one of my clients and then EBF um, updates. All right, so I'm gonna get to work on some of this stuff. I still haven't had time to like do my hair and get my makeup on to record. Um, it's looking kind of like I'll probably end up recording tomorrow because after it gets so late in the day, it's like pointless for me to break my day, go get dressed, come down, record. I'd much rather like get the recording done earlier in the day and that didn't really happen. So I'm going to reroute a little bit and do some more video outlines later on. So that way tomorrow I can probably get like three to four videos pre-recorded and send them off to editing so that's what i'm gonna work on i'm just gonna plug away on my computer with some video editing and um some emails and more admin type of stuff so let's get to work <laughs> Hey, hey, look, everybody with it. Eyes super heavy. I'm moving steady right through the city. Lift it. My foot up on the gas. Get a better way of what you want to miss. Okay, you guys. So it's actually the next day. Um, I didn't really do that much yesterday after I stopped vlogging. Sometimes that just happens. Like the day just kind of falls apart when you're vlogging. 
but I didn't want the block to go to complete waste because I did some pretty good stuff yesterday. Um, I wanted to kind of pick back up today. And today in the eBrain Club, we have an exciting masterclass, which I am beyond thrilled about. We are having Karen Bond in the club. She is one of my inspirations uh, for starting my YouTube channel. She has an incredible channel all about interior design and entrepreneurship. She runs an interior design firm that's based in Vancouver and she, her work just looks insanely amazing. So she's gonna be coming in the club and speaking and I'm so happy. Kind of one of those like full circle moments because before I even started on YouTube, I was watching Karen. So um, I'm just kind of prepping for our interview. I'm gonna go put some makeup on. That is what we're doing. So for right now, I am just responding to some emails. Sometimes a girl just has to work on the couch because I don't always feel like sitting at my desk. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but I just be like, I need a break from sitting at the desk. I need to be comfortable. Um, so, I am taking a look inside of the membership club. So, let me show you guys what it looks like. So, this is what the inside of the portal looks like. And this is Karen Bond's graphic. So, when you come in the club, you just click on here and you'll be taking to the live tonight. Um, it's not always, everything is pretty much hyperlinked, but um, usually when we have like a live lesson, there's a large graphic that goes in here so that they know what's coming down the pipe. But anyway, um, we are so excited to talk about making your mark as an expert in your field because, you know, that's exactly what Karen is. So I'm just kind of going through some emails um making sure everything is good in kajabi for tonight i'm finishing up a client project and here's the thing like we took on this project for this company that i absolutely adore but i realized that we just can't take on any more like big clients to do their social media content for them um that was kind of like an un unmarketed service that we offered um if larger corporations inquired on temporary temporary like campaigns that they wanted us to run we did take on some of those projects some video projects things like that more like freelance type stuff but i can't do it anymore like it's just it is very very time consuming it is very hands-on um, and it's a lot of fun, but I just know that that's not really where my heart is in terms of that type of work. So, um, I think we're just going to kind of like stop taking those clients unless it's just something we can't pass up. And it's something that I'm just learning as we grow because, you know, you see like how much... <laughs> You see the money, and I'm not going to lie and say that it's not alluring. But, you know, when you're juggling so many things, it's like I have to shift my mindset to know that um, and to trust the decisions that I'm making and to know that, like, what your plan is and, like, the products and the services that you're offering that you have the bandwidth to do, like, you have to trust that you're going to make up for that income that you won't be making and sometimes that's not always that easy you guys like you know especially as an entrepreneur when you're like where's the money gonna come from and granted like Aaron on demand is pretty established at this point but it's still like you know it can be very alluring in your earlier days it's harder to say no than you think it is and and the crazy thing is like I'll highball clients and I'll just kind of like highball it because I'm like oh I don't really want to take this but you know if they're willing to play, pay x amount then I'll take it on and then they'll pay and I'm like okay so um I just have to really in my mind just say you can't do this anymore Aaron you just can't so Kind of going through that, we're wrapping up a big 
campaign that we've been working on for the past two months and although it has been incredible it's been fun i love the company it's just a big undertaking and i just want you guys to know that like especially in your earlier stages of entrepreneurship which i still consider myself to be in those early stages it is hard to say no especially it's hard to say no to money that um that one kind of goes along with the work that you're already doing even if you don't necessarily love doing that exact thing but two when you've kind of worked your way up to this point and people just really want to work with you um from an emotional standpoint it's also hard to say no because it's like sheesh like they're doing whatever it takes to like be able to work with me um but from a practical and business and logistics standpoint if it's just not able to fit it's just not able to fit and that's just what i'm learning like no amount of money can pay you the desire <laughs> to want to do something that you really just can't do at the time so or just don't like doing or don't want to do so anyway i'm rambling i just want you guys to know that like i still struggle with saying no and i know a lot of entrepreneurs can kind of just spew out these quotes and spew out this advice and and you know maybe myself included but when it comes down to the reality of making certain business decisions it is not always that easy so i'm right here with you if you struggle with saying no or turning down work um due to having a lot of work already on your plate or it's simply not being something that you want to do anymore and you're kind of pivoting in your business so if you can relate please just you know comment below and let me know um what is something that you may have struggled saying no to i feel like it's just something that we all end up experiencing at some point i'm gonna pluck away at this and I'll share with you guys when we go live with Karen. I'm high, perp smoke all in my eyes. I could barely see you through the shade, who shade on my shine. You focus on my step, you moving backwards, I promise. You lose me in the process, then I pop up on you like that. Once that, my side, you ride it, you die, choose wise, you for the star. All right, my face is lightly made, and I'm going to go ahead and prep my office for the live masterclass. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get ready. We won't see them in the chat because y'all be going ham in the chat and so i just want to make sure that we have your question easily accessible hi karen hey how are how you how are you good how are you i am great and you know what Erin? i am so excited to see you i'm so excited to have this chat it has been such a crazy day and i feel like i'm ending my Monday in the best way possible, which is talking to you. And I've got a glass of wine going. At the yes. Time. Okay. I should have poured a glass of wine. I have water. When I go back and think about my first project, um, my first project was a 400 square foot studio apartment for a friend of mine who at the time was still in um, university. And all I did was switch out her flooring, I painted her walls, which ended up a little too yellow, by the way, and rearranged her pillows uh, or her bedding on like her, um, on her bed in her studio. That was my first renovation. And so when I say that this really started like, you know, from the ground up, it started from the ground up. I always, I like to, the first two phases of your business, the first one is really just visibility do people even know that you exist? You know, are you out there? Do, can they find you? Do they know who you are? And then the second phase is credibility. 
okay, fine, they might know who you are, they might know of you, they might be able to find you, but do they trust you enough to work with you? And you really, that's something that you kind of have to build. It's um, not something that you come out of the gates with people just trusting you. Now, of course, with the portfolio and the YouTube channel and the Netflix show, yeah, I'm a trusted source before people are even at the proposal stage, but you have to build that. Yes. And that's what I, that's why I tell people like, um, you don't have to be an expert to get started. Like you just need to start and like, you should have some knowledge base, but like start and land the first, get the first person and like take the pictures or do the thing, get the testimonial, like have some sort of proof that you did it and then like keep growing from there. And I think it's so cool, especially like now that social media is such a huge part of everything, like the fact that you can share along the way as you're learning and not on your first client trying to make it seem like you're this mega expert, but like sharing some of the things that, you know, you could have done better or that, you you know, whatever, like sharing that. So, um, and you know what, I just want to answer this question. I saw this question pop up where someone was asking, how do you build your credibility? Okay. Let's touch on that for a second. Because how you build your credibility is you make sure that whatever you sold, you delivered above and beyond. So the masterclass just ended. It was incredible. Oh my gosh. I am like on cloud nine because it was just so much value in that interview. Karen is just so sweet and so full of knowledge and even you know she's 12 years in the game i'm two years in the game so she was even you know really helping me have you know perspective and just sharing her insight and knowledge with us was just invaluable and i always love our expert master classes because it really gives me a chance to take a seat and like really learn and you guys like i learn from people who pave the way and share and and really share their knowledge with us and so i just really appreciated karen coming into the club thank you so much karen we're both in each other's vlogs so if you guys haven't checked out her channel you should definitely go over there to house of bond and check out her channel she posts all things interior design entrepreneurship if you love my channel i'm i promise you guys you will love her channel um if you check out some of her videos let her know that i sent you um i am so thankful for you karen and you guys if you like this video you're welcome to subscribe um and you know if you're interested in branding or entrepreneurial content seeing what life looks like as i build my business earn on demand then i would love for you to stick around all right you guys i love you i'll see you on the next one bye